vlog in the bathroom because I there's so much going on I impulsively decided to take out my cornrows that I've had for I think two months I have about two months worth of growth I am also sleeping on plastic I also am wow my hair is a mess my hairline's even worse so we're not even going to talk about it um i also am coming out of a depressive episode and i am on my monthly so i'm making a lot of impulsive decisions right now and is that all i want to tell you guys for this intro i think that's it let's let's start with um relaxing my hair okay so i went and bought because i'm also intensely broke um it's towards the end of the month i went and bought this this cheaper version of the dark and lovely um relaxer and i i got super because i have two months worth of growth but i also haven't relaxed my hair since february this year so yeah when i actually when i vlogged it that was the last time i relaxed my hair also my hair has shrunk um i did comb it out it's still shrunk my hairline is struggling for its life sis oof I might have to draw in some hair when I'm done. Um, <laughs> um, and then I bought this uh, treatment mask thing for afterwards. I also have a hair dye. Let's find it. Yes, I bought this hair dye for when my mom was here for her, but then I realized I didn't have a dryer. So, but now I have a hair dye. So I'm going to do all these today somehow and also clean somehow. Like I said, I'm somewhat broke. I mean, if I was broke, I wouldn't be able to afford a hair dryer, but I, I managed, I uh, got this for about 280 Rand, and it's 2,200 watts, which, which, sounds, which sounds pretty powerful. Hopefully it works for longer than a month. Because um, it could be cheap and powerful and work for two seconds. And then I also bought myself a Kit Kat to make myself feel better, because chocolate, I would just crave chocolate when I'm, and I only like the dark one, I only eat the dark one. I would just crave chocolate when I'm on my, Monthlies. Okay, so we're gonna start with the relaxer. Relaxer. Yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, do you guys prefer when I do short, frequent vlogs? To be fair, I can't say short and frequent because like, I saw someone say they missed when I did the short, frequent vlogs rather than the once a month long vlogs. And to be quite honest, the frequency of my vlogs depends on the frequency of my depressive episodes rather than the length of the video. So there's that, but do you guys prefer, do you guys prefer short or long vlogs? Me personally, I love to watch it, a YouTuber with really long vlogs, you know, I've said this before. Um, so that's what I like, and I like making that. Even when it's like I vlogged one day or something. Okay. Even if I vlog like one day or something, I just prefer that. Um, also, I'm sorry about this angle from below. But there's like no real space that I have to put the camera on my sink, on my bathroom sink. Let me see if I can do better than this. Yeah, the lighting is worse now, but I guess like I'm um, at a better angle for you guys. Um, I did comb my hair this morning. And if you have been watching my channel for a very long time, you know that I fear the comb. Also, I'm going to be freestyling this. I couldn't find the towel and all the other towels that I can find are my nice towels. So uh, I'm going to be risking my one of my favorite black t-shirts here. But you know what? It's life. It will be fine. Um, I like to focus my relaxer on my middle part because I love to do a middle part. Which is probably why this hair just miraculously somehow just got really short for reasons unknown to me even though it was in cornrows for two months um <sighs> okay so i'm gonna do the whole hobby thing i'm a big girl i can do this remember when you were younger and you used to go get your hair relaxed and then they just open the part whichever way they want and don't even care even if you're crying even if you're making the crying face they just carry on going and going going so what i'm going to do process is i'm going to do relaxer right then i'm going to dry it then i'm going to dye the hair maybe i won't do that tonight uh depending on how i feel because it's already like half past four um i don't even have gloves 
I'm going in raw. <laughs> there's, there's gloves for the dye, but I, I'm not going to not use gloves when I'm dyeing my hair. So I guess I'm going to do this one raw. Um, and okay, I'm going to douse my fingers in oil, I guess. Um, and then after I dye the hair, I'm going to do the treatment or whatever. Um, wish me luck because, wow, the spontaneous decisions, the raw dogging, wow. Wow. Okay. It's not. What, what was I thinking? I picked it up with the back of my nails, but now I'm trying to put it on the opposite side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Honestly, all that matters from this relaxer is that, like, my growth looks a little bit better. And that my, my, my hairline is nicely relaxed. And my, my hair in the front looks nice and straight. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I do just I do just douse the relaxer onto my hair because it's like there's no method to this madness that is going on. I'm already relaxing at home. It's it's not honestly for me it's not that deep. You guys have seen me and have seen that I once bleached my hair till there was like almost nothing left. So it's hair. Uh, it'll grow back. Like right now, it's a lot shorter than what it was at the start of the year. I don't know why, but um, again, it's hair. It will eventually grow back. Will I cut my hair though on purpose? Again, no. But I, I am of the of the thinking of it's it shouldn't be that deep. Uh, I saw a TikTok where a girl was like, if I wear wigs, it's gonna get damaged. If I relax it, it's gonna get damaged. If I don't wash and you know condition it properly while it's natural enough, it's gonna get damaged. If I do the protective hairstyles for too long, it's getting my hairline's gonna get damaged. So either way, at some point, if you do any too much of anything or do something wrong, it's gonna get damaged. So it's like, you know what, just just do with it what makes you happy, comfortable, and if what everyone else is or thanks when it comes to your hair. And these are just some thoughts I have with myself. Sometimes I share with Paris. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's a Drake lyric. I just said it all wrong. Like, I said it very wrong. Also, I'm just opening up different parts of the hair and just like applying uh, in no particular way. I'm just opening where I feel like needs product. I don't know. Also, I don't follow this like a tutorial. I'm just. I'm just making I'm just making a video while I'm doing this because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> this is no by no means a tutorial of any kind. Also I don't think it's healthy to try I, I mean I'm sure it's not to try and dye your hair right after you've relaxed it or relax your hair right after you've dyed it because the relaxer will burn. Um these are not methods that I think should be done to hair at all, but I just have a particular look that I see happening by like Friday and it's Wednesday and yeah so if I don't die later today I have to die tomorrow because like Friday I want the look to come together. You can practically see when the hair is straight before you even finish like you can see that yeah everything has been straightened like I'm just going to go through it. Alright, I'm going to let it be. Um, and then I'm going to wash it off. And then I'm going to see if I feel like dyeing my hair still. Because <laughs> I think I'm tired now. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like after being conditioned and shampooed. It is obviously quite thin. I naturally have very thin hair. But um, I have towel dried it, but I'm going to let it air dry for a couple hours. And then I think I'm going to dye it black tonight because I, I just want to get it all done with. Um, so I'm going to make myself food now. And, and then yeah, I'll just wait for it to be ready to be dyed. Okay, it's about two and a half hours later. The lighting is not the best. Um, my hair is like mostly dry. I, I did start to get cold. So I blow dried it for about two minutes towards the root. Um, but inevitably this got dry too. What I really want to dye, because I'm looking at it now and I'm like, this hair is actually quite black still, even though 
the last time I dyed it, I believe was January, if I'm not mistaken, or no, actually the last time I dyed was um, December. Why do I sound like I was running? <laughs> but the last time I dyed my hair was December. Um, and it's still pretty black, even though when it came, I guess it was the dirt, it didn't look as black, but I still wanted it to be jet black always. So this is, I guess, my six month um, dye update. I'm gonna just mix the dye and, cause I have these bowls. Yeah, I have these bowls and I have the brush somewhere. The ones that I used in the other video, why can I not find the applicator brush? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so I have the applicator brush. I'm going to mix the dye and then I'm going to apply it off camera, I guess, because it's going to be messy and everything. So to turn on the camera, switch it off and all that, it's going to be a mess. But I am using Super Black. This is my favorite because I use it on my, my wig as well. But Inecto in general is my favorite for my hair. So like black people hair. I just use it on my wigs when I don't have money to buy <laughs> boxes on boxes of like the other um, hair dye. But this is what it looks like. This is how long it is. Um, yeah, I feel like it is shorter, but I don't know if that's because it's like still a bit wet. But yeah, I do feel like it's shorter than what it was at the beginning of the year. But that's life. And then I'm gonna when I wash it, I'm gonna use this conditioner. First, the condition that comes with the hair dye. I'm gonna wash it out. Why is there a shirt on this side? Anyway, I'm gonna wash it out and then I'm gonna put in the treatment, the conditioning treatment. It's literally like five minutes later and I put the hair dye mostly in the front, as you can see. Um, I doused all the hair in the front and the top and then I just extended what it was left over to the back a little bit. Nothing hectic at the back. And I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes and after which I'm going to come and wash off the hair dye and then put the treatment in and yeah then all that's left is for me to wake up in the morning wash my hair and then properly blow dry it um which Whew, I'm glad I got the big things out of the way, the relaxing and the hair dyeing. Those are the big ones that like are time consuming and everything. So like once I wash with some shampoo and then condition twice, it's all good to go. Right, so I have the treatment all in my hair. I was generous with it. Wherever I felt like my hair felt extra dry, um, I applied more, but I also applied more on the perimeter of my hair all around. I felt like maybe another reason my hair is breaking and like my hairline is like my hair is breaking and my hairline is also not doing well is because I just don't have enough moisture. So I was like, okay, let me also add some nutrients and moisture through the treatment there. So I added some extra, also made sure I added extra towards the ends of my hair because I also don't want them to be dry, especially when I start straightening my hair and things like that. But um, this whole thing doesn't come with artist disadvantages. My nails are now like a dark sort of tinted black. I'm just going to wrap my hair right now or put it in a bonnet. Um, and, and oh, I might actually just take a plastic bag, like a normal pick and pay bag, put that over it first and then put a bonnet and I'll be heading to sleep. And tomorrow I'm gonna wake up, wash and blow dry it, like I said. So yeah, that's it for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> it is <laughs> how long has it been it's been a full day yesterday i only woke up at four right so yesterday is the day after you guys last saw me i woke up at four and um the <laughs> the um, conditioner you know conditioning treatment had like dried up and everything so i showered and i washed it out and then i put in a bit more let it stay for like two minutes then i washed it out and then i just blow dried my hair but i can see my hair is not like all the way relaxed like yeah it's smooth but i think also like i didn't blow dry very rigorously um but now i'm getting ready to go out to dinner so i'm going to straighten my hair i've already showered i just put on this pajama top but it's actually clean it came from the laundry because it's warm and it's a cold day but my outfit my outfit is actually very cold except for the coat that i'm going to put on top i'm going to show you guys what i'm trying to do so basically i want to wear this mesh dress from shein and i have an um what is it 
What are these things that Kim sells? Um, oh my gosh, what is it called? But like for underneath, you know, that you can wear underneath. So I have that. Um, shapewear, yeah. I've got a dress shapewear, so it's also a dress. Um, so I want to wear that underneath this because this is mesh and it's going to be cold. Then I want to do these Steve Maddens. I want to color block. I don't know. I love the idea of color blocking. And then I have like a burgundy coat for over this. And I don't know if I want to wear this pink purse. Or I want to wear the snake print and just take it all the way with the contrasting colors and patterns. Or just like keep it simple with the pink bag. So yeah, I'm going to get ready now. I will... <sighs> I'll, sh I'll talk to you guys once I'm done getting ready because I only have two hours and we all know I take longer than two hours to get ready, so yeah. Done such a her finesse is like wow. I'm watching a chess player. So always go up and up with that first. Yes. And you roll up. Oh, is it? Amazing. Okay. Well Thank done. you so much. <laughs> they even asked about you. They said, "Ma'am, are you still fine?" 
matter. You don't matter to us. day it's the day after we went to proud mary so first we went to tang um and i try to get some footage for you guys and the following night we went out again we went to dinner and i didn't get to vlog much because first of all load sharing has been insane like what four or five hours and all these things so if, like literally for proud mary i got really in the dark like i did my makeup in <laughs> the dark with a flashlight so yeah um Today, I actually, first, I have a therapy session, but it's online. Um, yeah, I'm back in therapy. Not excited about it, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. And then after that, which I'm really worried about, because they're, like, back to back. Then after that, I have a meeting. A meeting. Please. Girl. Food with you. Um, I have an appointment for a dermaplaning and um, chemical peel. You know, because my skin, I mean, on camera, it doesn't look that bad. I feel like there's the filter and everything, but it doesn't look that bad, but it really is bad, and it's really starting to annoy me. So my early birthday present to myself is going for this, you know, treatment, and hopefully I see some results afterwards, but then I know I'm going to keep ha having to go back. Um, I originally wanted to do, like, an algae peel, but then they were just like, like, I sent them photos of my skin, and they were like, no, let's start with... The dermaplaning and a chemical peel and earlier this year when my skin was looking really good i had been doing chemical peels like every two to three weeks so chemical peels work it's just that you have to do them so often and they cost so much you know that that is the issue that i have but yeah i'm going to quickly make myself breakfast have my therapy session and then head over to i forgot what it's called but it's in santon but i'm going to take you guys with me i'm going to bring you guys along and we're going to go through this together hopefully um i can vlog there but i mean they have an instagram that's how i found them so i'm sure i'll be able to to vlog my experience and all of that so yeah that's just the quick little update so i've made it to the place um i'm about to take the elevator up my outfit today don't even make sense like What is her name? What does she mean? She doesn't make sense. She's bloated as well. But yeah, I will talk to you guys 
once I'm inside. I also need to get rid of this gum up there.
Hello. Hey, what's up? Hi, how are you? I'm okay. I was checking up. Oh no, I I got out today. I had therapy. Okay. Um, I did, I did. Sad. <laughs> um, but then I also made an appointment last minute to mm. do my skin. Um, so I just did like a chemical peel and all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm like leaving Santa now. What's happening on your side? Alrighty, I am back home. Um, yeah, I was just like on the phone and stuff. Anyway, um, this is what my face looks like. Okay, the sun is, the sun is probably, the sun is probably not helping. So I'm going to do it like from... I'm going to shoot from this angle. But this is what my face looks like. We had to do extractions, of course, which hurt, but I can usually, like, take. But when it got to, like, the white heads around my nose and, like, above my mouth, started crying for my life. So we had to stop. Um, but we did the chemical peel. I showed, every, like, I didn't show everything, but I showed the dermaplaning and I showed the chemical peel as well. No, I didn't show the chemical peel. Did I? I showed the cleansing first and then the dermaplaning and then I think I showed a bit of the chemical yes I did show the chemical peel that was the last thing we did and then yeah like I don't know my, my skin looks rejuvenated like it looks refreshed it also looks like it has a bit of a glow but then there's other products that she like um said i can use because i asked about like pimple patches because i love to pop my pimples so i was like i need to i need pimple patches if i'm not going to touch them or not have to look at them and then also a, a dark spot treatment and things and just like also meds that i should be taking to make sure i clean out my gut and i'm not like bloated and things like that that cause these sort of hormonal pimples as well so yeah and then in a couple of weeks i'll go back to do like a peel another peel and then hopefully i'll get like a whole new skin and things will be looking great um so yeah that was my early birthday present to myself now i'm at home there's load shedding of course um i'm thinking of going to starbucks to edit another video but if i do go to starbucks because some people come for me and be like, you're just going to Starbucks all the time. Yes, I like to go to Starbucks all the time. It is part of my brand. Not that I'm making it part of my brand. It's just that I honestly enjoy going to work at Starbucks because when I'm here, I can try and work, but I'm not as productive as I am, especially if I have to sit in front of a computer. Here, I'll sit in front of a computer and be like, oh, it's a bit cold. Let me go to bed. Let me let me work from my bed. And then um, next thing I'm watching Law & Order, next thing I'm, I'm asleep dream about myself being a detective in New York City you know what I mean at Starbucks I can't do that I'm forced to sort of work so yeah but um if I do go I don't know if I'll vlog I don't know I don't know I'll have to see um but also I don't know if I want to go now because it's literally it's not even 12 o'clock it's 11 58 like that's how early everything has been today for me um yeah we'll see we'll see I need to sneak all right, it is later on in the evening and I'm going to focus. It's later on in the evening and I actually ended up sleeping <laughs> most of the day. I'm oh, sorry. I ended up sleeping for most of the day, as you can tell. Um, but I woke up, I literally woke up like 15 minutes before load shedding hit me, which I wasn't expecting. And then I had to wait and I was so hungry because it was like six o'clock and I was so hungry. So I had to wait until half past eight to make myself dinner i had dinner um yeah and that's it so since i didn't do anything for today and i want to start a new vlog i want to do a maintenance vlog like maintenance for my birthday i'm not doing anything for my birthday but i want to look good i want to feel good on the day even if i end up just being in bed all day because i've been telling everyone like last year i cried for the first half of my birthday um, and I don't know, just being in the latter part of your 20s and feeling like you haven't gotten life figured out is a bit daunting. Like, it's really, really daunting. So, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday, but I'm going to do another vlog 
before my birthday hopefully um and yeah i'm going to be starting that vlog tomorrow i believe and yeah i really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know a lot of it was like me doing my hair because at first i thought i was just going to vlog me like the process of me doing my hair but then i ended up doing other things so i was like okay let me just include them and yeah update my piercing is still fine it's still healing it's not sore at all it hasn't been sore since the day so yeah <laughs> even though i got it for the pain in a way um but yeah i really do hope you guys enjoy this vlog please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below your favorite part of the vlog um and yeah if it was informative the hair part uh i'm not suggesting that you do it but like it worked for me i don't know but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i will see you all in the next one bye Thank you.